Today we're creating this product roadmap and we're starting from scratch and going step by step through these timestamps. So let's get started right now. First, we're gonna enter a year's worth of dates to track our products across time. Enter the first day of the year here and in the subsequent cell, enter that date plus 32 and drag that all across 12 cells for each month of the year. And you see these hashes here, which means the date is too large to fit into this cell. So highlight your months, press Control-1 to bring up the Format Cells dialog and enter the letter M three times. And click OK. That's going to save space. And we'll just copy these and paste them as values. Over here, we'll start listing the columns in our roadmap. I like to start with version, where we list each version we plan to release. Next, we have feature to list the group of features comprising that version. And each feature should have a goal as well. For goals, we can create a drop down list so the user can pick from a specified list of goals that you're optimizing for. And to create this over to the right side of this table, I'm listing out the goals my organization wants to achieve. So customer satisfaction, new customers and revenue. Then go to data in the ribbon and click on data validation. For allow, click and select list, highlight the list of goals you created and click okay. Here's our dropdown list and we can drag it down to apply it to the cells below and then resize this column. I like to include a links column in my roadmap because most product organizations require a story or product requirement document for each feature and you can link them here. And I actually want this to turn red when it's blank so I know that it needs to be created or linked. And to do that, go up to home in the ribbon, click on conditional formatting and select new rule. Select only format cells that contain and select blanks from the dropdown. And over here on the right, I'm gonna click on format and then fill and select this red color and click okay. Now red means I either need to complete my product documents or link to them in the roadmap. Status is also a good column to have in a product roadmap. I already generated a list of statuses to the right here and created the data validation dropdown. See the goals section and the timestamps as I've already shown how to do something like this. Color is also a great attribute to contextualize the progress you're making. Along the months, I'm gonna list the estimated duration for each step in the product development process. And to create a color specific to each step, I'll go back to conditional formatting in the home tab and click new rule. Format only cells that contain and select specific text from the dropdown. And research will be this color here. And I'll repeat this process for each status on the roadmap. Next, let's format this table to make it look professional. I like to re-space this first column so it's the same width as the row. Here, I'm going to enter a title and typically I just enter the product name, vertical slash, and product roadmap. And you can make that title bold up here in the ribbon and increase the font size. And select the title all the way through December and a simple underline makes that title look really nice. On view in the ribbon, uncheck grid lines. And to achieve this banded columns effect, highlight the table you created, go to home, format as table, and click your desired format, and then uncheck filter button to remove those. And if you like the table that we created, check out this next video to learn about the seven advantages of Excel tables in business. And I will see you next time.